I'm joined today by former Navy Chaplain Gordon Klingenschmidt. His website is PrayInJesusName.org. You can also find his YouTube show at YouTube.com slash ChaplainGate. Now, that uh, YouTube channel, Chaplain, has been the center of quite a bit of controversy over the last month or, or six weeks. Right Wing Watch, which is an organization that kind of catalogs what they deem to be right wing extremists and uploads clips of their programs to YouTube, was basically taken down by you after you filed, correct me if I'm wrong, six copyright infringement claims against them. Tell us about that. Yes, thank you, David. And it's an honor to be on your show again. Uh, as an original content creator, I am not only a former Navy chaplain, but we now produce a daily half hour television show which airs on DirecTV and several other small Christian networks around the country. And we also archive copies of our show on the YouTube channel that you mentioned, also at our website, PrayInJesusName.org. And what we've noticed is that there are pirates and copyright infringers in the world, and what they've been doing is taking you know, one or three minute versions of our show and republishing it under their own logo. In fact, they remove our logo sometimes, they put their own logo over the top of that, and then they claim as if they are the original creators of the show, and they're using this to make money for their organization. And so we have begun using our administrative remedies by complaining to YouTube, hey, uh, they're copying our show, please make them stop. So let's go piece by piece, because I actually am very sensitive to this copyright issue, because my YouTube channel and my my program has been both, number one, the target of fraudulent copyright infringement claims when I believe we are properly under fair use, able to use content from other shows, as well as have had our own content directly just copied and re-uploaded. So let's take it piece, piece by piece. In all honesty, Right Wing Watch is not pretending that your show is their show by putting their logo on. They say very clearly, this is from Gordon Klingenschmidt's channel. The issue, if I were you, that I would have with them, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that one of the stipulations of fair use is that you can use someone else's content if you're using it to make a critique or for educational purposes. And that would require, like, for example, on this program, if I play a clip of your show and say something about it for two minutes before and two minutes after, that's very clearly a critique. But if I understand correctly, Right Wing Watch was just uploading your clips with no additional content added. Is that right? Well, I, I caught most of your question. We're having some technical difficulties here. But uh, I understand there is some claim about fair use. And YouTube has policies that say, um, you know, if you want to file a, a copyright infringement complaint, we will allow the infringer three strikes. And part of the three strike rule is, uh, and by the way, the people in question here have sometimes uh, copied up to 90 of my videos. So they're way beyond the three strikes rule. But I've only filed maybe a half a dozen administrative complaints with YouTube. And YouTube initially agreed with me and they removed the infringing content and they took it down. In fact, they temporarily turned off uh, one of the channels in question. And then uh, there was, you know, a, an opportunity for a counterclaim. And I think uh, what my adversaries have done is they filed a false counterclaim knowingly, uh, you know, infringing on my copyright. And, and saying, oh, we have a right to steal your copyright, to steal your program, to, uh, you know, put our logo over the top of your face and raise money, essentially, which is what they're doing, if, even if they don't uh, admit they're doing that. Uh, and and I, I think there are limitations to the fair use doctrine. I talked with some lawyers on this, and they think I should sue. Uh, they think I should infringe, or, you know, not infringe, but I should stop them from infringing on my rights. Uh, but I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to continue to use my administrative rights. I'm going to continue to file with YouTube yeah. because I really don't want to harm these people. I, I don't want to cause them any harm. You know, they may have a right to report on their own material, but if they if they were original creators of their own content, then they would be creative people and they should reward be rewarded by the marketplace, but not for stealing my content. So I will continue to defend my property rights. Okay. So putting aside the fair use conversation aside, because I think there's arguments to be made on both sides, right? I mean, they do put blurbs around your content, which could be considered 
uh, a critique of the content and therefore could fall under fair use, but it would be for the lawyers to fight out. So let's put that aside for a second, Chaplin. Practically speaking, don't you think maybe that they're actually helping you because your channel has about 235 subscribers. You get a couple hundred views per video, whereas Right Wing Watch has 17,000 subscribers, 20 million views, several thousand views. You're actually getting many more eyeballs on your show through Right Wing Watch and then the shows that talk about you after seeing you on Right Wing Watch than you otherwise would. Why not take it as promotion? Well, that's a fair point. I mean, uh, there's there's a saying in politics, no publicity is bad pu publicity, right? Or, uh, well, maybe it's the other way around. If negative publicity is actually positive publicity because, uh, but at the same time, I just wish that they would either compensate me for stealing my property or, uh, you know, stop using it altogether. I don't think it's fair and I don't think it's right when they uh, have advertising through YouTube, when they allow their, their followers to issue death threats against me. And here are some of the death threats that YouTube, excuse me, that this anti-Christian group has allowed to then post it against me. One person but let's on there. I have to stop you there, Chaplin, because you know what? Yes. I deal with this too. People will write to me and say, look at the crazy statements, the vile statements that you are allowing people to write on your YouTube videos. We, yes. you know, we get something like 1500 comments a day. There is no practical way to police that. So if you're going to make a fair use claim, that's one thing. But to accuse right wing watch of allowing people on YouTube to comment or to email you, that seems like a little bit of a, of a, 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 a below the belt blow, don't you think? Well, no, I think because they do moderate the comments on their YouTube channel if, and we have screen captures of different comments that they have deleted, maybe those were the comments that were in favor of me. But when they're when they acknowledge that there are death threats on their page and they refuse to remove those, although they're moderating other comments, they refuse to remove the death threats. For example, can we murder this F? Uh, yeah, we could murder him. He needs a 45 caliber renovation. Yeah, yeah. And I get tons of those on my channel, too. But you do know that C comments can be removed if if YouTube users simply flag them for removal and it has nothing to do with the channel. I deal with the same stuff, Chaplin, so I'm I'm sensitive to this, but I think you're going down a road that doesn't really make sense. Let's let's go back up as we wrap up to a kind of higher level. Ultimately, is your goal just to silence the 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 critical voices that explore right wing extremism and try to expose it? Is that really the ultimate goal here? No, of course not. I am only trying to defend my own copyright, trying to defend my own content. Uh, you know, we, we put a lot of money and time into producing our TV shows, as you do, David. And when people steal that and they republish it for their own profit without permission and when they've been asked to do it, uh, then they're the ones crossing the line. And I'm just trying to defend myself against their attacks. All right. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon Klingenschmidt all of a sudden in the middle of a uh, copyright battle with uh, with right wing watch. And and of course, we will continue to follow it. I just think practically, Chaplain, you're gaining way more from it than you're losing. But I do understand if you do feel your copyright is being violated, you would take action the same way any of us would. So I thank you for being here. People can check out the show at youtube.com slash Chaplain Gate. You know I'm watching it daily. So uh, thanks for being on, Chaplain. Thank you, David. God bless you and your listeners in Jesus' name.